and this is the part two video on boat repair. And so part one was all the materials you would need to repair a through hull crack uh, in the middle of nowhere. So now we're gonna take our bucket and we're gonna show you how to use these techniques. The, the theory is, because I took an ax to this bucket because I didn't want to do it to my canoes, is that you practice these techniques on this bucket, it holds water and you're good to go. So um, you're gonna take a, the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take a marking tool out of your map case or wherever, and you're gonna um, measure these holes. They're about a half inch to an inch apart, depending on the wreck, depending on the crack you're dealing with. Um, so you're gonna mark those holes. Then you're going to take fire, stove, whatever, and you're gonna make these nails cherry red. Use the smallest one because you're burning the hole in the ABS plastic and it's gonna melt a bigger hole than the nail. Uh, it's good to have two. You can have one going cherry red while you're using one and it's gonna go faster. So you're gonna take your multi-tool and a cherry red nail and you're gonna make these holes. So burn all the holes where you've made the markings. Then you're gonna take your 28 gauge stainless steel wire. It's about the thickness of dental floss if you wanna think about it like that. And you're gonna baseball stitch. Um, very simple stitch. There's tons of YouTube videos on how to do it. Basically, it's in the seam and out the hole, in the seam and out the hole. And what I like about this, it's the lowest profile with the most structural integrity. The other thing I like about it is you can take whatever you're going to goop, glue, water seal, and not only can you use it on the inside, but the outside, because the inside will look just like the outside. Um, so if, if I've got a hole on the bottom of a canoe, this is what I'm going to use. Um, the other thing that you can do, and everybody's going to love this because it's so simple, is the little tiny zip ties, okay? Um, everybody's like, oh, that's simple and I love that. And you can see that on the bucket, these three little tiny zip ties, it works good. The only thing I don't like about that is because of this part of the zip tie, you can't goop the inside as much as you can goop the outside because that sticks out. But everybody's gonna love that. And um, it is a very simple fix. Um, so then, once you've got it looking like this, you've baseball stitched or you've zip tied. You're gonna take your sealant, your two piece epoxy, your marine grade goop, uh, whatever you're gonna do for the situation. Every wreck is different. Squeeze that out a nice, use a lot. Squeeze it out on, on like a little, these are just Amazon gift cards, but it acts as a palette. You can squeeze that out and you can get a nice, really nice even layer when you when you pull that material down, when you pull that uh, epoxy or whatever it is down. Do the inside, do the outside, do it nice and thick. And then if I was going to do a patch, if this was on the bottom, I would cut this into a nice oval and I would patch right over the top of it like that. Um, so take your bucket, see if it'll hold water, practice, remember, Mother Nature is the toughest teacher. She's always going to give you the test first, and then you're going to learn the lesson. You've just spent three minutes with the main guide.